Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to install an application to a single device in SCCM. We've never been able to do this before. Um, mostly only can, you can install application to a device collection, but not to a single device. In the application catalog, we can make something available to the user if we make the application install for a user and then that application is available in the application catalog. But now in 1906, we can now install an application to a single device in SCCM. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's get started. <clears throat> so I'm going to log into the console. <clears throat> now one of the things, um, you'll need to go to the administration. You'll need to turn on this feature. So it's a, and go to application features. And you'll see right here, application uh, application request for user for users per device. So right now it's turned off by default if you don't have, uh, so you'll have to come in here and turn it on. So we're going to do that. I'm going to right click, turn on, and it says the feature will now be replicated and turned on on all site servers, which, you know, in your configuration manager hierarchy. Uh, after the process is completed, the configuration manager console will update itself the next time the console starts. So basically, we have to turn this thing on, say yes, and then um, it'll be turned on. And I usually like to just give it some time because in SCCM, it's, you know, you do something, you give it some time for it to do its thing. Um, and so with that, I'm going to give it a little bit of time and I'll be right back. All right, so I've closed the console. I'm just going to go ahead and relaunch it. Now let's just check to see if the um, features there. So we just go to service devices. We right click on one of these devices. Yep, there you'll see it. Install application. So now the first thing, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to need to create a device collection. So yes, you still need to use a device collection for this feature to work but you have to make the deformance available to that collection. So I'm just going to call this um, install vacation for device. And I'll go ahead and call it a um, all systems and I'm just going to go ahead and do next that's okay next now you can put this collection anywhere you want I'm just putting it at the root it doesn't have to be there uh, but I just want to create something that indicates what it's for all right so now what I'm going to do is go to one of my devices I'm going to I'm going to right click on this one. I'm going to put the Windows 10 in there. Um, it could be a Windows server. It could be a Windows desktop. It, could, it doesn't really matter. It's just It just has to be in that collection for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and since it's there, that's one of the reasons why I put it at the root. I'll have to drill down. So I'm going to go in here, make sure it's got that machine in there. All right, it's just taking a little bit of time here. Give it a moment. Sometimes when you click out, there you go. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you, if you double click inside a collection, it doesn't matter which collection it is, and you go to right click on that collection, you will see that install application is not there. So you cannot do this within a device collection. You have to be in the devices section only. So then you'll have to be in the devices and you'll have to type in that device or a computer name here. And then once I go here, let's say I know this is the one I want to do. Then when I right click on it, I can see that install application. So if I right click, there you go. You'll see it's right there. Now, just I just wanted to point that out. You cannot do this within a device collection. All right. So now I'm going to go to one of my software. I'm going to go to pick a software. I'm going to go to application management. Did I want to install, like, let's see, there's something that's simple. Um, there we go. How about a 7-zip? Okay. Let's see. Do I have any deployments going to this? No. All right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy this 7-zip application to that 710. So I'm going to go ahead and click on deploy. 
I still have to target that device collection. Okay, install application for a device. Next. Next. Now I have to make it available. It's not a required install, so I have to do install, make it available. And you see right here, it says, an administrator must approve the request for the application on a device. This must be checked. You must check this setting. Install, available, and check this setting right here. I go next. And you can give it a time if you want to schedule time, but I'm just going to leave it default. And then I'm going to just show all. But here's the thing. Even though you have this user notification, it's not going to show up in the software center. The user will not see this. Um, uh, the user, it's not going to be available to the user. So I just want to point that out. Even though I have to display everything, it's not going to show up. But I'll show you that. Um, and then you do next, next, and then that's it. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out before I do anything here, um, if I'm in here and I go right click, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go right click on this guy. Now I'm gonna show you something. Now, if I right click on this guy, now this server is not in that collection. So if I click on install app, you'll see that nothing is nothing is visible. There are no applications that I can install on that device. So now if I can cancel out of here. And if I click on that machine, the Windows 10 machine that is in that collection, if I right click and go install application, uh, and if I click on, um, there it is, there's my 7-zip. So now I can click on that 7-zip and actually install this application on that device. So I really wanted to show you that. So it's not really like a huge benefit because you still got to deploy this to a device collection, but it does give you the ability to install it on one machine, like on your one-offs. Uh, so then I click on OK. And it says in progress. So now, let me go take over to my go over to my Windows 10 machine. My Windows 10 machine. Now, when you right click on that device and you go to deployments, you'll see that it has that 7-zip installation install application. You see it's install application. That's the collection that it's quite. So you'll see that it's there. So now, how do you confirm that the application got installed? So let's go check that out. Now, you'll still be able to use the deployments. You go to monitoring and go to deployments, and you'll see that the 7-zip installation status here, which is the one that I, I targeted that collection, install application for a device. You'll see that both that 7-zip was already installed on that device, but it shows you that, oh, it's already compliant. So I just did an install for a single device, and I can still go through my normal, you know, um, monitoring for the application because it isn't installed as an available. Uh, so I can still go to deployments, kind of check the status of that. I can still run the same reports I've done before in terms of um, monitoring the, um, so if I come in here and go to reports, you can still run those same reports. So in the deployment section of reports, you go to application. And I usually like to use basic. It's just less things to choose. Um, and you just click on value. I like to choose the application first because um, you may have several applications pointing to multiple collections. So I'm just going to pick the application. And then because I select the application, it knows what, uh, what collection it was targeted. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click on View, Reports. And this report will tell you if something got installed or not, just like you would see. There you go. It's success. It's compliant. You see all of the same statistics as you were if it was just a regular deployment to a device collection. Again, this was just installing an application to a single device. So those are the steps that you need to do. These are the way that, that you need to, if you want to utilize this new feature in 1906, to be able to install an app per device. Now, you still technically have to use a device co collection, so it's kind of a step in the right direction, uh, but you still have some other things that you need to do in order for this to work properly. So again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to be doing more features like this. Um, again, this is one of the new features that came out in 1906. 
Um, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming your way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.